السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ گڈ 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 الحمد للہ رب العالمین دیٹس گڈ وین ایور وی گیٹ دا گڈنیس اینڈ وی آر اوکے فیلنگ اوکے ہیلدی ویلدی پیس فل کمنگ ٹو دا کلاس لرننگ دین وی شوڈ بی الحمد سے الحمد للہ رب العالمین بیکاز اٹس اے ویک اینڈ ایوری بڈی از سلیپنگ ایٹ ہوم اللہ کریم لو شو گیٹ سو مچ دیٹ یو لیو یور بیڈ کوئکلی ہیو اے بریک فاسٹ اور سم I don't know you guys have a breakfast or not, but still, we are running to the class. Allah can you love it, definitely, inshallah. So, I was thinking today we need to talk about the right hand side. Right hand side and right hand as well. Usually, we ignore this kind of stuff. Allah can grant more strength in the right hand. You know, there's two directions, right and wrong. Right has always power. This is a sign. right hand has a strength because we are doing all good deed with the right hand side eating drinking giving the stuff and taking the stuff you always learn just eat and drink with the right hand side keep in your mind somebody is passing you your pencil plate glass you have to take it with the right you get work up in that stuff Usually we are sitting on the different direction. Somebody is passing by this side. We have a left hand and we just grab the stuff. Don't do that. Always turn yourself. Push yourself even a little hard situation. But grab the stuff with the right hand side. Prefer it. Try your best. Because when you grab the stuff or you give away the stuff with the right hand side, it's that stuff that movement is full of barka sometime somebody is giving you some stuff with the left just hold on asking can you please pick it up with the right hand side switch the hand and then give it to me to your friend usually left hand side they're passing you something here you go can you hold it in the right please in this way you are not deprived of the blessing of that movement and in this way your friend will learn that too sometime mummy is daddy is they forgot give them a good reminder that's why we are asking that our kids should be the imam of muttaqin the leader of the muttaqin they remind us too always ask mummy can you pass by the right hand side not the left it's convenient then remind them this is sunnah this is sunnah this movement should be full of barakah if there is a food it should be barakah if there is a pen or pencil you get a beneficial knowledge for that inshallah so right hand is a more powerful we are sleeping on the right hand side think about we are walking on the walkway right hand side leaving the room for the other people if you are driving you are driving most one side you leave the other people who are fast running and driving try your best if you are walking look down don't wander your eyes here and there if you see somebody his appearance or her appearance is like a muslim just salam them and just say something good to them a good gesture a good smile to the girls because you are girls not the boys girls right <laughs> only to the girls sometimes i want to correct my statement just the girls and tell them somebody some some means or some good thing just a single thing use the right hand side always you for sleeping use your right right hand for giving and taking away the stuff just in this way you are following the sunnah because nabi kareem sallallahu the azat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam i want to hear the true shape loudly azat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam was used to do preaching when he is walking outside on the streets on the road in this way you are following the sunnah any other thing uh, you think you use the right hand side and 
Think about the left hand side, all the nasty stuff. You are using and one more important thing when you are reciting the tasbih, the beads in your hands. After prayer or walking, you have a tasbih in your hand. Check your mummies and sisters and friends as well. If they are holding the tasbih in the left, ask them this is sunnah to hold the tasbih on the right hand side. Left hand is for the cleaning yourself, cleaning the nose, all the dirty stuff. Dirty, dirty stuff. Like back home, over here you have a uh, seat commodes. It's less chances that the kids are dropping the toys inside because they have to run there and then throw their ball in the commode. They have activity when they are two years old. And back home we have a toilet on the ground. It's weird for you. It's on the ground. You have to sit down on the floor. And kids are playing and the washroom door is if it's open, all the balls are going there. And moms are the one having the gloves on. I have experience. Have a gloves on and taking the ball out and the toys out because it's blocked. What to do? Mummies should have the gloves on the left to take off the, off the stuff. Not the right hand to put it in the commode. I want to tell you, all the nasty stuff is done by the left hand. Cleaning the nose, cleaning yourself in the washroom, or this kind of, I give you the example. If you need to do this kind in the life, there's lots of, lots of, okay, and you have to do something like that. You don't like it, but you have to do it. Use the left hand side. Now tell me, I start from my right. This is another point. When you ask somebody a question in the company, right hand side. It's a sunnah of the prophet. Who is sitting on my right? Your name for the other people too. Ramisa. Ramisa. Ramisa is sitting on the right. And who is sitting on my left? Hafsa. Hafsa. So I am not asking Hafsa the question. I am ask, asking Ramisa. Because you are on my right. This is a sunnah of the Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi When you listen the name, when you utter the name, you have to recite the Dushuf. And when in the in the company, in the group of the people, Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was used to distribute something from the right hand side. So if I am distributing the stuff, first if I have a four or five markers I want to give away, I hope I have some days, this is a class marker, I can't give it to you. Mm -hmm. So I will start from my right. To me, so I will give it to her. Not Hafsa. Why? It doesn't mean that I... I like her more than Hafsa because she is sitting on my right. That's the Sunnah. These are all rights we should memorize the rest of the life. Give me point one by one where we use the right side or right hand or what? Number one. First of all, it's a Sunnah, right? Using of right side, right hand. Yes, Ramisa. When you eat? Eating with the right, eating and drinking will go with both. Eating and drinking with which hand? Right hand. Yes. Who is next? Loudly your name, sorry. Heba. Heba. She is Heba. She is from Esa. Yes, Heba. And you're passing something to someone? Passing something to one, someone. Mean giving away or taking the stuff from the right. And who is next? Hadia. Hadia. When you're reading Quran or doing Tasbih? Quran or Tasbih, you have to put the right hand finger on the Quran. Good girl. Reading, Quran, reciting Quran or the using Tasbih with the right hand side. And who is number four? Afsa. yes. Giving Sadka. Giving Sadka, putting Sadka in the box. You have to keep bottle on the counter of the kitchen or your bedside every day. Try because you guys are going to the Timmy's and you have a change always of coins if you are not using your card. And ask mommy, give you some uh, coins, keep it in your drawer, bed drawer on the side table. Have some one coin every day and put it in the sadka box. The near for that sadka is Alakri me, my family my generations till day of judgment and from the whole ummah, all the jinns and all the human beings. 
Jinns are creation too. Creation of Allah Kareem. Allah Kareem is a creator. He loves his creations. It's a sadqa from me, my generation till the day of judgment and whole ummah, human being and jinns. I am doing this sadqa. And use the right hand for putting good. Good girl. For putting what? Sadqa. Arzukat. You are in the mosque on the Friday and the girl is coming with the uh, bag and asking you and you are ho op opening your pouch and put the left hand no always use the right hand side right hand for the sadka good and what else sleeping what about the sleeping yes sir sleeping on the right side. sleeping on the right side good girl what else distributing or passing the stuff perfect and eating, drinking, reciting, plus we putting sadhka. Yes, please. Writing with the right hand side. Sorry for my spellings. In these days, uh, phone make it easy to say. They correct your spelling. And from 15 year, <laughs> no correction by yourself, no studies, no learning the spellings. When we are young, it was a spelling competition in the class and we always know the spellings by the means in so fluent by heart. My son was two years old and if I, I say cupboard and he says C-U-P-B-O-A-R-D, he spell out by himself. If I'm saying pen, he's saying P-E-N. This much we always, we always making a drill at home with the spellings. They were so important. Now in these days your life is easy, calculator is there, spell check is there, you don't need to do anything. That's why you guys, you kids are lazy, you're not, you're, you're relaxed. We are always tense, means uh, oh my god, it's a test, we have to write with the pen. You left to use of the pen, you are using the keyboard, it's a different age now. Uh, we are the old girl. Keep in your mind, old is gold. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Now, give me the examples of using the left hand side. Where you use your left hand? Cleaning, Cleaning yourself. Left hand. Left hand is a weak and less duties. <laughs> right? Cleaning yourself. What else? Just we can abbreviate it. All the nasty stuff. <laughs> yucky, yucky stuff. By the left hand side. I give you the example of taking out the ball from the commode. Because I did so many times in my life with the three boys. They are always throwing the balls in the commode. And mom is the one having the gloves on and taking out that with the left hand side. Yes, please. Auntie, if you're left-handed and you right, what do you do? That's a valid question. I was thinking someone will ask this question right now in this class and the question is there. Thank you very much. If somebody is left-handed, this is by the luck with the creation of your body. It's your physique. Your mind is ordering your hand and then you're writing. And some people has all the connection all the wiring by a lacrim with the left. They have their left hand is powerful. It's a one percent people. They have they are left-handed, and their mind, their brain is commanding the, the left hand. The left hand is powerful than the right. This, these are the exceptional case. But if somebody is, they can write. They can read all the stuff they are doing with the left they can do with the right but the eating but the reciting tasvi and putting the finger on the quran and they should clean themselves with the left hand always right because they have a more power they can hold things firmly with they have strength in the left hand they can do that they can read and write they can write the common stuff, but when they are reciting the Quran, they have to put their Shahada finger right hand side on the Quran. And when you are sitting on the Qada, you are 
putting the shahada finger up for the right hand this is another use of the right hand you are now using this left right hand so left handed are reciting the quran with the shahada finger of the right hand in the namaz they have to putting up the right hand finger they have to eat by force they have to eat with the right hand little kids they are always eat, eat, trying to eat with the left hand but mummies need to make them full practice always correct them sometime they have to hold their hand baby this is a sunna you have to eat with that in this way they develop their habit you got it hadia you can do rest of the stuff the left handed but the main source eating food with the right and the reciting the tasbih holding it and putting the shahada finger on the quran inshallah inshallah any other question please heba you have a question after so long